drink cool too. Truth is, I wanna lie with you, so come my way. Feel like you need somebody. So, baby girl, come my way. Feel like you need somebody. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is your neighborhood DraftKings addict. Bring you my top picks for Friday. Main DraftKings slate, guys. All right, guys, so if you look at the screen, this is uh, RotoWire. Uh, this is where I go to look at my lineups, you know, get any quick information as far as, like, you know, injuries or whatever. Kind of see what the projected lineups are, stuff like that. All right, guys, as you can see, Golden State has a gang of injuries. So does Boston. All right, guys, and to be honest, I'm really not too excited about this slate. All right, but, hey, we're going to knock it out, break it down. Six games. It's a day of DFS, so it's a chance to win some money. All right, guys, so if you want to see my results from yesterday's video, uh, just go to Twitter, at DK Uh Link is in the description uh, to see what my results were. All right, guys, so, all right, you know that little pop-up right there, all right? So, all right, guys, before we get started with the video, with the picks, uh, let's talk about, you know, what I used to use my uh, get my research. It's going to be the uh, Draft Dashboard app, all right? So, it's this app that I discovered that I've been using and uh, it's a good way for me to quickly go in here and uh, select my plays. So if I go to position optimizer, all right, if I just go to each position, as you can see, it's updating right now because it's 3 o'clock in the morning my time. All right, if you go by position, it has, uh, you know, it pretty much optimizes each lineup. I mean, each position. Each position. All right, so if you look at it, we got Lou Will again, guys, you know. He shat on me last night, you know. I called him Pooh Williams. All right, but uh, anywho, long story short, yeah, he's in a good spot tomorrow, guys, so. All right, he's somebody to be considered. But uh, we got Fox right here as well at the top. I uh, wouldn't go with Mason, but uh, oh, I need to take the depth down on the floor. My bad. All right, shooting guard. As you can see for the shooting guard, we got a couple plays. But long story short, guys, you go through here and you select your plays by add them to your watch player list. Once you add them all to your watch player list, they populate in here. And if you uh, join, or I'm sorry, if you go through the, to the link in my description, there is a free trial. All right, so one dollar trial for seven days. All right, if you do that, uh, you'll have my picks right here, and all you do is just click on watch addicts picks, and it'll load those into the uh, watch player list for you. All right, guys, so here goes some of my picks already that I like. So after that, guys, you go up to the lineup optimizer, and it will build you an optimized lineup. As you can see, it spent forty nine thousand five hundred dollars of the fifty k. So let's say hypothetically speaking, guys, I don't like sewing well. So if you see right here, so there's throwing well. There's one upgrade for him. You know, we can go up to Garrett Temple. You know, or let's say we don't like Bogdan, Bojan. You know, we can upgrade to Zach Randolph, Buddy Hill, Montrez Harrell, Scal. Ooh, I like Kufus if uh, if Randolph didn't play, if Zero didn't play. But all right, guys, but you get the point, guys. All right. So, and if you like that particular lineup, you just click Save Lineup, right? All right, guys. So, all right. There we go. All right, so that's draft dashboard. If you're interested in the uh, trial, just try it out. It's in the description, guys. So let's get on to today's top picks. All right, guys, like I said, I really don't like today's slate, but uh, hey, we're going to break it down. These are my top plays at the moment. So if Paul George is ruled out tomorrow, it's easy. Just like in Westbrook, okay? Don't waste your time. Don't think about it. Don't try to get too cute. Too many question marks on the slate to not play this guy given his usage and his ability to score a ball. He's played 36 minutes two times versus his team and put up 53 DraftKings points. All right, but if Paul is out, he's going to pretty much be offense, him and Carmelo. All right. And whoever else decides to get a couple of points here and there, whether it's Grant or Brewer or whoever the hell. But this guy here is going to be at the helm of every point that's scored. So if Paul George is ruled out, lock in Westbrook. All right. All right. Now that that's out the way, all right, let's go with some of the other picks that you want to put around this guy. So, first of all, I'm starting off with this guy right here, man. All right, in that same game, Tobias Harris, guys. Guy's been hot lately. He gets uh, Carmelo's defense, which is no defense. So, hey, he should be able to do what he want. Like I said, you look at this particular matchup, um, he hasn't done well the last two times, but I like Tobias because lately he's been hot, you know, scoring 35-plus over the last couple of games, three out of the four games. And, again, at 7K, I like him playing against OKC. In a game that should, uh, you know, they should put up some points. All right. So I personally like Tobias Harris. All right. I think everybody else is going to go Carmelo, but I like Harris on the other side, that that coin. All right. 
Another player I like, guys, due to all the injuries on that team, is going to be Bam Adebayo uh, playing against the Lakers, guys. Last time he played his team, he played 30 minutes, put up 34 DraftKings points. For 5K, I like him. He's pretty much going to get his minutes because there's nobody else because white side's out. He's the big man to go. All right, speaking of that team and injuries, Wayne Ellison. They got injuries all over the place when it comes to the shooting guards. And I like Wayne Ellington. His minutes going to get 30-plus as he has the last couple of games. And he's going to chuck up a gang of three-pointers. If that three-pointer start falling versus L.A., it's a wrap. He, he's going to get 30 points easily. All right, so I like him. The dude took 17 three-pointers last game, man. All right. Like him, Wayne Ellington, guys. Again, he's going to be popular because of all the injuries. And I think he's going to be highly owned. So, for cash, I love Wayne Ellington. All right. Another player that I like, guys. All right. Again, high usage. Well, he gets a lot of minutes. That'd be uh, De'Aaron, De'Aaron Fox. All right. This young team, he's getting 30 plus minutes. As you can see, he's put up 29 DraftKings points on average over the last couple of games. At 5K, if he can get you 30, that's great. All right. So I like him in this matchup. He only played 27 minutes last time, but he's been playing 30, 35 plus. And if this game stays close, which it could with all the injuries on Golden State, and especially, especially. If for some reason Durant don't play, but he only has like sore ribs or something like that, so I think he plays Durant. That is, but uh, here you go. I like DeAndre Fo- De'Aaron Fox because again, I think he has a safe floor for five point four K. And again, this this slate scares me because I think there's a lot of uh, issues out there. So speaking of that, let me go go ahead and talk about my last play, guys. All right, personally, I like DeAndre Jordan, guys. All right, DJ's been off the chain. All right, this dude put up. 29 and 18 on uh on, on Chicago. And if you look at his last couple of games, look at his rebounding, guys. 18, 18, 18, 23. This dude's a beast. 20. Okay. Double double rebounds, no matter what, pretty much, guys. All right, he's gonna be playing against OKC in a game where they possibly won't have their starting center. And whoever the hell they put at center, not gonna be able to out jump DeAndre. All right. So don't get cute. Like in DeAndre Jordan. All right, so that's my top five plays at the moment, guys. That's what I like at the moment. Tomorrow, that could be different because, again, there's a lot of question marks. Is Kyrie coming back? All right, is Paul George playing? You know, uh, Al Horford, I think he's due back. And to be honest, if he comes back and Kyrie's out, I like Al Horford. But that that all depends on that. So follow me on Twitter, guys. I'll be pushing out updates on Twitter. You know, on, on what I like. And then also, uh, is uh, Zebo playing or not? Zebo Zebo is not playing. I like um, Kufus, Costa Kufus. All right, he's been doing pretty good. All right, I like Justin Winslow for value as well. Off that Miami uh, Heat team, I think I like them for, for value because they're going to be playing against a high-paced team, which is the Los Angeles Lakers. And, again, they have a lot of injuries. And so I like, I like, I like a lot of their players for value. So, all right, guys, keep your eyes and ears to the news. All right. If you like my videos, please hit the like button for me. Please help the channel out. Also, if you want to uh, be notified when I post my videos, just go ahead and hit the subscription uh, button and hit the little bell icon next to it to receive a notification once I uh, post my videos. All right, guys. All right. And don't forget, just one more reminder in the description is a link to a seven day trial of the draft dashboard app. All right. It's a great app for you to Come in and quickly make um, decisions around DFS and not have to do a whole lot of uh, searching around for information. It kind of puts it all in one spot. And I love to put uh, the uh, uh, optimizer to where you can go in there and it builds a lineup for you. And then it also, um, you know, allows you to modify each play so you can kind of tweak that, that optimized lineup for you guys. All right. Also, another thing I found, too, guys, is right here. It shows these things called perfect lineups, guys. All right. I didn't notice this this is yesterday. But as you can see, it goes in here to pretty much put in the optimal plays at each position and tries to either spend all the salary if you want to do it based off a of dash rank. So it tries to get the highest possible dash rank overall. And then also if you want to do the highest projected points overall. And there you go. So if you like this lineup, you run it. Hey, it could be, it could, it could smash or it could crash. All right. But that's DFS for you, right? All right, guys. So good luck on today's slate. I'm going to holler at you guys. On uh, tomorrow night for, uh, to break down Saturday's slate. All right, guys, good luck.